Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 93 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Last episode, we wrapped up setting up a cobble works. And hey, it actually uh, went pretty smoothly. Uh, so I've got what appears to be a pretty nicely filled uh, drawer of uh, glass and smooth stone and cobblestone. Uh, and at this point, I went ahead and added uh, emerald upgrades to the gravel and sand, just one of each, uh, so that they could start filling up. So we're going to get a lot of gravel and sand going. But in addition, we've got, you know, still lots of sand cooking up as well. So uh, long story short, we're doing great. Um, so with that said, um, we also, also um, made a lot a lot of iridium um like a lot a lot and what i'd like to work on today so let's start looking at what's involved and in some of the creative stuff we need to get like we totally need to get if i want to work towards the end goal of this pack which is the creative vending upgrade we're going to need uh some creative fluid tanks and some creative gas tanks and uh some octuple compressed cobblestone which we also started working on today or, or last episode i forget what room we put that in we put it in the under io room we did yeah, look at all that shenanigans. So we've got four sextuples, um, which is pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and teach the recipe for septuples. Um, so that's quin, so that's triple, quad, quintuple, sectuple. So remember that. Um, and you can go into the internal as well uh, and apply. So now we've got septuple auto crafting, um, which will land here. And then we'll just kind of fill up this inventory of septuples eventually. Um, but that'll probably take a really long time. But that'll be enough. All we need is nine septuples, and then we'll have the octuple that we need. So that's good. Um, cool. So we need that. Um, now, if we want creative um, vending upgrades, so gas tank or fluid tank. I kind of feel like fluid tank might be the best thing to work towards next, because we don't need a lot of gases. Um, from mechanism because mechanism is really the only mod that has gases but having creative fluid tanks might be nice ish there's certain fluids you matter that i could think of you matter that might be really nice you matter to have so a creative fluid tank might be my next goal uh, in order to get that we just need um a few things so first off what i'd like to work towards is getting more creative capacitor banks and quantum generators, but then I'd also like to work on the different liquids and automating them, because uh, we're going to want to automate most of these liquids, right? Like empowered oil, that probably won't be too bad to get. We only need 64 buckets worth of each, which isn't too bad. Vapor of levity might be tough. Icy too hot coolant shouldn't be too bad. Biodiesel shouldn't be too bad. And short mead shouldn't be too bad. Levity, what is that? So vapor of levity is grains of pesiality and grains of prescience which is a prescient crystal uh which is a soul vial of shulker okie dokie with a vibrant crystal uh that's cool so we're gonna need to go visit the end and get a shulker crystal or, or soul vial thing uh do we have any spawners left i might need to go and find another broken spawner uh of some kind which you can probably find in either the nether or somewhere um so that should be cool. But let's work towards a little bit more of creative capacitor tanks. So last episode, um, I did work towards making a solar panel Mark V. What are the chances that I could teach this thing how to craft a Mark VI and have it be doable? Um, so in order for this to work, we're going to want um, some solarium alloys and a diamond. I think you should know how to do this. And these as a pattern. Um, and then I'd like you to also know a couple of things. But then very soon, I'd like to focus towards the crafting of all those liquids and stuff. Um, so diamond, infused diamond next, cool. And then you with you should be able to at least, oh, we're getting there, we're close. Man, making these scenario alloys is definitely relatively expensive. There's a lot that goes into making those, isn't there? Yeah. Um, luckily, scenario parts are pretty fast now that we've got this thing cruising. And I'm just thinking, like, I could make a couple more quantum generators. Because we're going to need a couple. We might as well use them to, to speed this machine up. 
right? We could put a few more on different sides of that thing and it would actually work really well. All right, so you with you. The miniature sauna is gonna be a big deal here. So you're almost there crafting one more, boom. Cool. So that'll definitely be a recipe. Um, refined glowstone, that can be a recipe, right? And then the only other part we might need are those photovoltaic cells. So this, so you need cell mark three. So just get one of those. That doesn't look too terrible of a crafting recipe. And having all the glass on hand, a lot of the time that was spent making these was using or was smelting and crushing gravel and sand and getting the glass that we need. So by having the cobble works, I'm hoping it will drastically improve um, the speed at which we can create solars. Um, and I might do a couple other programmings of auto crafting. So let me do some of that off camera and we'll be back. Okay, so you've got this thing down now. And ideally what that means, um, wow, we're gonna actually need more. We're getting low on molecular assemblers. That's insane. When I, when I first made those, I said to myself, there's no way we're gonna need more than that. Uh, that's not true apparently. Uh, so for this, we're gonna need a, a four, the sun and the glowstone. So let's get that refined glowstone ingot. Uh, let's get the star. Isn't that what it's called? Oh, miniature sun. And cell mark four. Missing glowing glass. All right, you need to learn how to make that. You already know how to make the rest, so that's not bad. Cell mark four. Cool. Now I also requested, there's a lot of things that I'm crafting right now, but I'm working on a 64K storage cell and a crafting unit uh, in addition to all this other stuff that I'm working towards. Because what I'd like to see is, um, what I'm assuming is going to happen, I won't be able to craft a tier six on a single click because it's not going to have enough storage in the crafting coprocessors because the tier five, it barely had enough for. So I'm assuming it's not going to have enough for the tier six, but I'm hoping I can stick multiple of those into the, into the multi-block there and then it can have the capacity to do more complex crafts. Pretty sure that's how it works, but I'm actually not 100% sure. Uh, so come back in a minute when this is all done. Cool. All right, so the tier six is taught, right? Uh, which is definitely going to be one of the more difficult crafts, right? Um, so if I ask for a solar panel tier 6, we need 181,000 bytes in our, our thing. And we're missing some tiny piles of uranium and flawless glass. So we're going to have to teach it flawless glass. That should be teachable at some point. Uh, tiny piles of uranium I would not have expected. Is uranium, I'm probably not processing uranium right now. Yeah, I'm totally not. Uh, so let's make sure that that's running. Um, and we can get this from uranium-235. Um, so that seems totally doable. So IC2 area first things first. Let's make sure that you don't seem to be running, do you? Did I derp something up here? Yeah, probably this. So let me fix that. All right, all fixed. Um, so there's part of the problem. Yay, nicely done. All right, so that should take care of that issue which is the, you know, uranium not processing for a bit. Um, and that should help. Now, if I go over to my, I believe my auto crafters are in my immersive engineering area, right? Nope, they are in forestry area? Nope. I remember where I put stuff eventually. I think it's one of the areas I don't actually have a teleporter to. So that's part of the problem. But if I pop this dude here, we're gonna need another 64K anyway. So let's make sure to craft one of those. 60K, 64K storage cell, back in a sec. Okay, cool. Uh, 64K storage crafting. Couple things I did off camera was uh, speed up. Oops, not there. There, nice. All right, so this thing might be able to have the power needed now to do what I wanna do. A couple things I did off camera, I swapped out the white lens underneath with a green one so we get more uranium, and I increased the speed of uranium production. But now if I requested a 64 tier six one of these, does that work? Um, 181,000 bytes used. So we need a little bit more uh, tiny piles of uranium and flawless glass, but I think that should be cool. So let's get some glass 
And, you know, I'm going to get four stacks and diamonds. And our flawless calculator. I will probably set up auto crafting for this, but let me first just see if this works and then we'll be back. I have to wait on a uh, uranium, but I guess while we wait on the uranium, uh, we can do some other things. So, um, aside from that, I'm setting up a few more auto crafts. I'll kind of be back in a minute because I'm. I was also setting up um, tier two solar. I should have one of these now. Yes. No, I have a sol I have a tier one. Did I request a tier two? Maybe I didn't. Back in a minute. All right. I think I've got what I need now to make a tier six solar. So let's see if it'll do it. All in one craft, tier six solar, crafting CPU automatic. It's gonna be a long crafting process, but that's okay. Start. And while that's cooking, I've got other stuff going on. Uh, other stuff which is actually good news. I can dupe tier three solar panels, uh, which is actually really cool news because I think that means I can dupe tier four solar panels. I suspect that they are probably, if tier threes are allowed, tier fours should be allowed. Uh, and if that's true, um, then that's actually really good news for us. Um, so I'll be back in a minute when this is done. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to check was vibrant photovoltaics. Can I do those? Yes. All right, cool. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a chest um, that's going to store all the things that I want to always have one of on hand. Okay. And that will be things like vibrant photovoltaic cells and solar tier fours, doohickeys. Um, so you're probably still waiting for that solar cell because I crafted you right behind the biggest crafting recipe in the world. So that might be a few minutes. I'll be back when that's done. All right, good. Vibrants are dupable and tier fours are dupable, right? So we're going to keep one in this chest at all times of what we want to dupe. Because uh, we're going to need these to make all this stuff, right? Are awakened draconic flux capacitors dupable? That's a question that's worth answering. Um, so it probably won't dupe it with the power inside of it, but it, if these aren't, I think it only dupes items that are stackable. So this might not be dupable. Um, the quantum solar panel, I'm pretty sure wasn't dupable. The advanced solar generator might be, as is the elite, hopefully. Can I request an elite? Did I teach you how to make the Elite Solar Panel? I did, and that's cool. Missing an Elite RF battery. Uh, you might need to learn how to make those. Let's make an advanced. If I don't have to use it, then that's cool. So that doesn't look too bad. Lead ingot, silver ingot, and four dime. Okay, cool. So your crafting job is done. That means you. Neotech's Elite Solar Panel, because if I can dupe those, that'll be cool. I'm still missing an Elite RF bar, really? What? I have one, it's right there. Uh, how are you made? So I'm just gonna need four advanced. So let's get two stabilized and four advanced, and then we'll just craft it by hand. Cool. That shouldn't be too bad of a recipe. It needs a lot of empowered Inyori crystals, though. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so solar panels and vibrants, those guys stay in there. These guys can go away for further use later. Nice. Okay. And as suspected, this can't go in here. And it's probably not able to go in even if it were empty. But I'll try and create a new one because we have to craft one anyway. Um, so we should probably just teach it how to make these because we are going to have to make several. Um, so just get me one of these dudes. The other thing we'll want to keep in this chest is chaotic cores and dragon hearts all the time. So that's going to be an important thing. All right, the RF battery did have to be full for the elite solar panel recipe to work. Forget if I ran into that before, but I'm assuming I can dupe this. Nice. All right, so that's another one that we're going to want to keep on hand. So a lot of the recipes here are dupable, um, including the chaotic core um, and a few other things. Also, I kind of stopped my solar panel crafting midway because I was doing other stuff, so let me kick that back off. Cool. So a lot of stuff still needs to be made. More capacitors. I should do something with basic capacitors here where these are kept in stock. Like, what I should do is have, like, a chest of them, kind of, maybe, or a drawer of them, maybe, um, and just have that thing constantly running. Once we get unlimited UU matter, let's do that. We can set, we can create a creative UU tank. We will have that thing just constantly running and churning out basic capacitors for us. Does that sound like a cool plan? I think so. 
So I think we're getting really close to being able to churn out um, everything we need automation wise to make more of the basic uh, or, or more of the creative dudes. So that's cool. Um, so back to this guy, I wanna make sure this recipe is known. So this should be cool. I can teach that guy now, awesome. So that's another part of the puzzle. So, so far, dupable, dupable. Well, this one's dupable. Auto crafting, dupable. Auto crafting, dupable, auto crafting, dupable. Advanced solar generator and quantum solar panel. This one I'm pretty sure is not dupable, um, but we'll get to that. Uh, the advanced solar generator. Solar generator. So that needs four of these. I don't think that's even worth duping because I think that's such an easy recipe, right? So let's get one of these missing steel ingots. Okay, hold on. Um, generator, solar generator. What is the actual recipe for you? Um, it is the block of steel. That's what it needs. Okay, so let's get that solar generator out and we'll fix the block of steel recipe. So we'll just request one, which should be easy enough. And then we swap out which steel block it uses and it should be cool. I've tried doing the or dictionary substitutions and it like sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So that's why I always just change which steel we're actually using. Um, so that should be a work in progress, crafting. It's probably cooling off right now down in my basin, which by the way, I got a lot of feedback saying I didn't need the smeltery for the basin. You're right, that was a dire derp. I'll own up to it, total dire derp. Didn't need the basin. Oh well, I'll live. Um, well, that, I mean, you didn't need the whole moldy block, tinkers, dude, right? Uh, but that's okay. Come on, steel block, let's go. There we go. So now we have the proper steel block in there. We re-encode the recipe and you're good to go. As soon as I find where you were sitting before. Nice. I feel like we've got a couple of recipes that could probably be moved to other spots. Anything else that's jumping out? Nah, that's cool. All right, so then um, we will request a generator, which should no longer have a problem with the steel block. Missing nine steel ingots. What? I definitely think I need to have more alloy smelteries. And I think that wraps up our solar tier six, right? Nice. Uh, now, the solar generator, I did decide that because it has just some stuff that it needs. So, all right, so the, the Elite Neotech one, that can stick around. I'm assuming Tier 6 cannot go in here. I am correct. If this guy, it looks like he can't go in there either, which is totally a bummer. Um, let's go ahead and... It's the these ones, ultimate control circuits that we're going to need, right? That shouldn't take too long to craft. So if I pop that in there, really gonna need. So that probably won't be too bad of a craft. Missing some ink sacks. Blech. We're gonna have to go hunting for squids. But really think we should expand this area a little bit. Let me get those squids, I'll be right back. All right, so I know how to auto-craft these. Is it possible that this is dupable? The answer is a big fat noop, but that's okay. Um, so, so let's just refresh, right? Duping, auto-crafting, duping, 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 duping. Oh, auto-crafting and auto-crafting, duping. Uh, that's duping, that's auto-crafting, and this is kind of auto-crafting. I didn't get the whole thing auto-crafted, but like we can, compo we, we can craft all the components. Um, cool. So if I wanted a quantum dude, did I teach you how to make quantum cores? I should. I should at the very least teach you how those are made. Let's just get a scenarium alloy. So that'll get me everything I need to auto craft. So I should have now either a way of duping or auto crafting everything uh, that's needed for this crazy shenanigan thing. Um, where did my, where'd my power storage dude go? This thing, the Draconic Flux Capacitor, where did that go? Did 
Did I drop it? Oh, I think I put it in... I don't know where I went. All right, so while I'm waiting for a few things to craft, uh, let's get a fermenter and a refinery up and running because those are going to be needed to do what I want to do next, right? Uh, which is biodiesel. So biodiesel is one of the liquids we need a ton of. And plant oil plus ethanol equals biodiesel. So plant oil comes from squeezing seeds, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, and ethanol comes from the industrial fermenter, and we can use pretty much whatever we want uh, in there. Now we might have a lot of, do we have any melons? We may not have a lot of melons, but um, in my Let's Play series, I created a nice little uh, setup of melons turning into, you know, melons and melon seeds, and then all the way up to that stuff. And we only need 64 buckets worth, so it shouldn't be too bad to get. So let's get our fermenter up and running first. So for this, we're going to need six steel scaffolding, two fluid pipe. So steel scaffolding, we're going to need another set of, don't you know how to make some of this or no? And wireless out of range, practically. <laughs> Drives me nuts. It's like working and then it's not. So six steel scaffolding, uh, fluid pipes. I think it was two, right? Uh, one redstone engineering block and two light engineering blocks. So that's done and done. And then four cauldrons and four iron sheet metal. So a cauldron, I remember being pretty fun and easy to make. And then sheet metal, iron sheet metal, we need two more of these. Shouldn't be too bad. Cool. And that'll be six steel scaffolding, two fluid pipes. Cool. All right, so let's stick this guy. So if that's there, and this has to be a three by three as well, would that be a terrible place for it? Or should it be parallel to this machine? I feel like it should kind of be in line with the machine. So we could do like that. That wouldn't be too bad, right? I think that's a good way to build it. So let's build it in such a way that it looks kind of similar to this. So if this guy, that's the squeezer, right? And it was like that. Then what we're gonna want is the fermenter to kind of be like that. So let's pause it, go down a tier. So that is steel, steel, light with pipes in the middle. Um, steel, steel, light. With pipes in the middle. And then engineering light and the cauldrons on top there. Cool. And then the sheet metal on top of that. Cool. And then you did the thing again. Please. With the hammer, the engineer's hammer to put this all together. There we go. And this is somewhere around here. It needs to be clicked on. There we go. Nice. So that looks pretty good because it's like right in line there. Let's get our draconic dude to give him power. Binding guy. You can bind from this. You've got 8 out of 16 in you. So we have plenty of power to go along. And that should be good. So seeds go in here to make the one type of liquid. Now the other block that we have to make is the refinery. And that's going to be a three by three by five area, right? So I think this might be a good spot for a three by three by five because it can kind of match with that guy. And that's what it'll look like. Uh, yeah, don't mind the fact that the game just crashed. Every now and then while holding that immersive engineering book, it's a crash and it's a JEI level crash. So I don't think it's immersive engineering's fault. I don't know whose fault it is, but it's definitely weird. Uh, so refinery, let me get all the stuff. All right, if I'm not mistaken, this should do it. So you 
Cool. Nice. Now we've got a refinery. Beautiful. And then we can Draconic Charge this dude. You know what's weird, by the way? My solar panels for IC2 stopped working again. I wonder if... Interesting. We're losing our F here. Is this thing not working? Yeah, this thing's not working either. What's up with that? So I'm warming us to Earth. Because I can. Uh, and I'm going to see if that makes a difference with the whole light thing. So we're above Earth now, so that's kind of cool. I'm wondering if we're generating power again. Because um, all of a sudden, my solar panels have been working great for like the longest time, and now they're not again. I don't know why. So it's raining in the overworld. I wonder if that's going to make a difference. Does that change anything here? Does it feel darker, or is it just me? Still no solar panels. Weird. I haven't quite figured out this, like, planet stuff going on. So a quick visit to the overworld and back. Doesn't it feel like it's darker? Or is that completely in my head? I have to, like, review previous footage. I'm gonna dupe a close real quick, just because they're, like, kind of annoying to make with the whole process. Um, and then we'll have a few more cloches, and that can help out. Uh, so I do have everything in here that's dupable, right? I can't dupe these, I can't dupe quantums, I can't dupe solar panels, and I can't dupe draconics. So those are four. Um, so I can dupe these four items, and it requires one, two, three, four, five that can't be duped. So half of them can be duped, half of them can't. For this creative thing and ultimately i'm not super worried about my solar panel not working here but it definitely is weird to me that it's not um just because it's been working for so long and like all of a sudden it's not so i really just don't know what that's about but we'll figure it out all right so you are duped cool garden closures uh what i can do i don't know if i have water in the um let's let's, let's find a place where we have water going i think this room has water in it yeah this 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 should work um so i could just like stick you right there like that would you pull from sitting on top of that thing maybe not what if i used you yeah nice okay cool Yeah, I guess that's the direction I want it to be. Okay. Um, and Draconic Binder, this to here. And then we can throw dirt in there with melon seeds. Melon seeds and dirt. Cool. And then what I was hoping I could do is have an ender chest. Why are you all of a sudden getting like laggy? There you go. Make one of those for me. And then we basically drop this dude here and we should have melons getting created. Cool. Ah, no, wait, one higher. Good. Melons are going in. Excellent. Now, uh, how can I turn melon blocks into melons? Really? There's no, like, direct conversion? I'm gonna have to do, like, a block breaker setup here? Auto breaker? I could do that. Basic coil. So if I did an auto breaker and an auto placer, right? Void crystal. Get ourselves a couple coils because I'm probably gonna need a handful of those. So I assume placer. Ah, needs a palest crystal. Okay. So breaker from actually additions you. We'll try it. Placer. You. And then what we'll get is the melons that we've thus far. Hopefully this is quick. 
But what I could do, let's break you for a sec. Okay, we will have the placer go here. Now if you, ah, you did, beautiful. Um, and then we could have, this is gonna be a little bit hokey, but this is more proof of concept-y than anything. Now we're getting melons, hopefully. We are, but you're not auto-outputting to the back. So that's not the end of the world. There's my other wrench. So I could just move this to be here. That should be pretty compact. So down would be extract always active, west would be insert, and then we would get our melons, right? So then any melons being produced are turned into that. That should work. That's nice and compact, right? I like that. Uh, and then what we can do is go over to our immersive area, which I'm pretty sure has some good. So we can, how did you un, how did you un, didn't you, weren't you together? Didn't I do this? I'm like 90% sure I did this. There you go. Uh, you can be piped into where? Let's also check this. Yeah, you're not bound anymore. Interesting, I could have sworn I did that. Maybe the crash undid it? I don't know. Where was this bound to before? I don't like that laser going off in that direction. Yeah, it was that. Fix that laser, okay, cool. So now we wanna basically export. So one thing we'll wanna do is teach a recipe about melons. That says that, right? So that it knows how to make the seeds. And then we can export bus, so we'll want two of those. One of them with a crafting card in it. One of them doesn't need a crafting card in it. And we'll basically tell them to, you know, dump melons and melon seeds into those two machines. And then we can pipe everything to refineries and we'll be good to go. So first we'll start with melons. And then we'll do melon seeds, right? So the the squeezer gets plant oil, right? So this guy gets the melon seeds with the crafting upgrade in it, right? And the fermenter gets the melons themselves. Cool. Is my exporter ready yet? It is. So you get the melons themselves. Cool, so you guys should be cool. Unless you won't accept into that direction. If that's the case, which it seems to be. Unless this is a, oh, this is the wrong channel. Okay, that's why. This is a P2P line. I would probably want to tap into you because you've got two channels available. Oops. Yeah, you've got two channels available. Yeah, that was a P2P line for sure. So, a little derp. You know how it goes around here, guys. So you should be online. You should now be running. I was really hoping I could pipe into you guys, but I'm thinking I can't. Not the end of the world, but. All right, and let's try it up here. What we could do, by the way, is use an item conduit. Can item conduits? No, they don't appear to connect there. So that's a good indication that it's not gonna work. I think it has to go up. All 
Item conduits, please. That's it. That little blue spot is the input. Okay, so that's where we need to run our export buses to, is that little blue line. So we will do you melon seeds with a crafter and you melons. And whatever looks good here is fine with me. We don't have to worry about too much about air because it's inside. So that should now be running. Cool, melon seeds, perfect. And you're getting melons? Beautiful. All right, cool. So I'm gonna wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. We'll probably get this up and running pretty easily. That'll get us the biodiesel we need and we'll work on the other liquids next. Um, and behind the scenes, I will be crafting the things I need for solar panels. So I've already made four ultimates. Um, we're gonna make four more and that'll run. So behind the scenes, I'll be making creative energy cells um, for the next few episodes. So I think once this is done, uh, we should technically have everything to make one more creative energy cell. If we continue to have, for whatever reason, this issue of not producing solar power, I will wind up using creative cells for both IC2 and um, RF power generation going forward. For now, Dial 20 is signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.